Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Illusions Ghost. Welcome back to another video. And inside of this video, we are going to be going over all of the chest locations and all of their prizes inside of Build-A-Bow for Treasure. So make sure you guys all stay tuned throughout this video. And I'm not going to waste your time with a huge, long, lengthy intro. So that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys inside the video. So of course, these are not in any particular order. Literally just completely random, guys. So anyway, we're going to start off with the first one. So this is actually the first one we're going to be going over. It is in the clock tower stage as you can obviously tell and it has to do with this clock tower inside in particular all right so basically what you guys want to do is you guys want to head over here and you simply want to wait until this top hand is actually pointing straight up and down this long hand right here this actually tells you the real time all right though there's no numbers so it's hard to you know tell the time okay but um this actually tells you the real time inside of real life i don't know what time zone it is but um yeah so basically once that um that long hand is actually pointing straight up and down which means at the top of the hour which means that it's either like um 11 a.m or 12 a.m or you know so on and so forth okay you know with two zeros following whatever hour it is all right this will actually open up revealing a lever so as you can see, just as the clock struck 1 p.m., guys, all right, this actually opened up and you're able to flick this lever, guys. Upon flicking this lever, all of the stuff actually, you know, recedes back, revealing this giant opening. Then you can jump inside of it, guys, all right? Then what this actually does, and then back behind here, behind the waterfall, guys, there was actually this secret winged chest right here. Then you can actually go and collect this thing, and it gave you two golden harpoons and 250 gold we are just in luck guys all right we got the b stage here and then we also have i don't i don't know what the, to call this stage all right but we also have this stage right here as well so let's first start with the b stage guys so basically inside of this b stage all right there was actually a chest inside of here these things are gonna yep 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 they are all right right here guys there was actually a chest located literally right here in between these two little things so as you can see guys you head straight into here and boom there is the chest right there all right um it only gave me 35 um gold because this is the second time that i've actually gone and collected this bad boy all right um but yeah it's still you know gave me 35 gold so you know can't complain so here we are boys inside of the stage which i do not know the name for all right it's the receding water stage all right the draining stage the um the the sinking st I, I don't i don't know what to call it all right so basically oh what oh he falls straight through it okay um so basically inside of the stage i believe it is or it was the third one all right um this one has a bunch of rocks on it so that is not going to work for us guys all right we need to have it so that it actually had no rocks on it okay i kind of missed the lip there we go um so this one is not going to work however you know there is a so holy crap there is a solution my guys all right guys so here we go and now as you can see there is actually a hole right here and you can actually drop through this hole it actually leads you into this room right here guys all right that actually is massive and not even that many people actually know about it and also the water kind of hurts you for some odd reason okay um but anyway as you can see over here guys there is actually a new chest right here guys there's actually a new chest literally just sitting right here and this is actually a clip from Legion North, all right basically when you actually go and collect this chest guys what it actually gives you is 15 balloons, 175 gold, 50 sand blocks, guys. All right, and of course the chest. The next one that we have is actually over inside of this stage right here, guys. So simply you want to head over to this stage, all right, and then actually go to this location right here. You want to then walk through this little black wall thing, all right, and actually head over down this way. You want to hang to the left, all right, and actually click the blue bush once, all right, and then actually this white bush twice, guys. And that'll actually give you this light blue potion. You want to then take that over to this guy, all right, the eye. And once he opens his eye, you hit him with it, okay, and then you can actually collect this chest right here. This actually gives you potion items, guys. The next one is we actually have inside of this stage. This is like the radioactive stage or whatever. I don't know what to call it. Um, but anyway, inside of this stage, guys, okay, you actually can go boom, shoot this little wall on the right side, and that actually reveals this chest, all right? Once you actually do collect this chest, guys, all right, what it'll actually give you is something very, very... That are actually these items right here, these Ultra Twisters. These are actually a Robux 
item so this is the only way how you guys could actually get this stuff for free next chest that we actually have this was actually the first chest to ever be added to the game guys all right um but anyway this is over on magenta team so all you want to do is head over here to this branch all right click this branch and then it actually opens up this wall guys revealing this and then you can actually go and collect it i believe it also gave you much more items than just five gold all right i can't quite remember all of it all right but yeah guys anyway that that was it so I am using this clip from Liege North because, you know, mine was very, very laggy. Okay, but anyway, there should be an ice wall right there, and you shoot it with the cannon, and you can actually go and collect this chest right here, guys, inside of the ice stage. All right, so as you can see, boom, it's right there inside the ice stage. You can literally go and collect it, which Liege North can't really seem to... Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Good job, Liege. Of course, I couldn't forget the Jesse TC one, guys. All right, so inside of this Wild West stage, there's actually a little opening. All right, all right, and then basically you can go into to here and collect a free chest which there's a jesse hat right there so that's pretty cool too all right and what this actually gives is like 50 of these neon blocks or something like that i can't quite remember how many but you do get these neon blocks and again that's another robux item right there the only clip i can find of this next one is actually a jesse tc clip so anyway yeah so jesse tc actually i think was one of the first people to actually find this by the way um so anyway jesse tc basically inside of this stage right here the volcano stage where all these like little meatball things are flying out of this volcano basically inside of there if you can get inside there there's actually a secret chest so anyway and oh jesse tc's done so anyway he's waiting he's waiting for an opening just sitting there flying gliding all right and then once the opening's there you drop in and boom all right now you can actually go collect this chest it gets you 10 of these dynamite blocks all right along with 50 sand blocks and of course the chest itself next chest is actually over inside of this crystal stage you want to bring a bunch of cannons into this crystal stage guys and actually use these cannons to blow up these crystals guys once you actually then blow up all of the crystals what will happen is you'll get teleported to a new location so anyway here i go blowing up um all these crystals you'll see that it's working all right when these crystals are actually popping like this and then it'll actually teleport you doing this guys all right I accidentally got teleported twice oops and boom then what you guys want to do is you want to head down this long corridor right here all right then what you guys want to do is head to the right side of the room guys and actually go through this green portal then once you're through the green portal you want to head over through this gray portal right here that'll actually give you your first crystal guys you want to then bring it back to the front okay and then what you guys want to do is head over to the other side of the room from the green portal all right to this yellow one and then what you guys want to do is go through this orange one right here here then through this pink one and that is where the second one actually is again you want to take this all the way back to the beginning location all right where you just put the last crystal okay and that'll be that then you want to go back through the yellow portal after you put the other crystal away, then through this scion one, and then through this black one, and that is actually where your last crystal actually is. You want to bring it to this location, and then your chest will actually spawn right here. This will actually give you free teleporter items, which again are Robux items. This next one takes a long time, but you want to actually bring a cannon over to this stage and actually shoot this wall right here, guys. This will actually open up this entire area, and then coming into here, it will give you a sword, and you have to fight way waves and waves of enemies guys so they get progressively harder all right and this actually does take a long time just because you have so many enemies that you actually need to fight guys but after like five ten minutes of actually fighting as you can see guys there's actually a chest in there behind all of these people all right so you don't have to go and kill all of them first before you can collect the chest if you can get into there guys all right without dying then you can collect the chest guys so you kind of just need to make a break for it okay but anyway this actually Actually gives you um the sword item the bow item and the staff item guys so the next one again is another leech clip but um inside of this stage right here guys this um you know and then boom you go right behind here and there's a chest you get 10 of these tnt blocks 20 cannons and 160 gold so i actually recorded this on fusion's account so don't ask me what is inside of his inventory i don't know why i record this on fusion's account i completely forgot guys but anyway inside of this four stage right here behind this 
flower right here, guys, there's actually a hidden chest, guys. As you can see, the hidden chest is literally right there, all right? And you can actually go and collect this chest as well. I forgot what it gave you, all right? It only gave Fusion 20 gold, so yeah. So this clip was actually taken from a live stream, obviously. That's why you see a sub counter on the bottom of the screen, all right? Um, but basically, guys, you want to go over to the washing, washing machine stage and then I actually go and click that little button like how I just did. And then this guy goes back and forth and blah, blah, blah. And he will try to kill you. You need to just simply dodge these little dots, all right, as they actually come down like this, guys. And then once it actually is complete, that happens, and a chest will actually fall and allow you to get a golden harpoon. So that is going to have to be it. I think I went over basically every single chest. There has been a lot of chests inside of Builder Buffer Treasure. So, you know, it is very, very hard. I at least went over all of the, like, you know, um, reclaimable chests inside of the game right now. But anyway, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys go as well. Consider hitting that like button, subscribe, and of course, turn on all those notifications. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. I love you guys all. Peace out, and of course, goodbye.